Okay, this is uh, uh, number six in the top 100 facts videos. Um, or seven. 100 facts. It's a lot of facts, and I'm, I'm, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, kind of, you know, seven's a big number, but you know, I don't want to stop there. This this one's on the subject of. Um, I mean, why am I even bothering? I can't, I just can't, you know. Uh, I tried to make this video, like, yesterday, and the camera wouldn't work because it was too humid, and the little thing kept, you know, sensor and the camera kept going off, and it's just a big hassle. And, uh, tough subject anyway. Uh, so the subject is, um, I can't even think of the subject, and yet I'm going I'm, to, I'm going to attempt to, 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 you know, I can't even say, oh, God, I can't believe, the, what, brain is not working. I don't think there's any way you're going to be able to make a video out of this crap that you've come up with so far. The subject is absolute truth, our objective truth, and the fact that there is such a thing. Um, yeah, it's a fact that there is, you know, there are truths that are just undisputable. Um, you know, and there are, there is one reality. And people talk like, oh yeah, there's this dual realities and everybody has their own reality and we're all, you know, whatever. No, this, it's just bullshit. We have to live, <clears throat> you know, there has to be some sort of foundation, you know, that applies to us all. Ugh, there's just no way to do this subject. No fucking way. Well, it seems to me that uh, this really should have been the first of the 100 facts. I mean, um, you know, people kind of have to accept the idea that there are facts before there's any point in explaining the existence or the actual facts themselves. I mean, they kind of have to concede that there are such a thing as facts. Is such a thing as facts. Is objectivity. It goes something like this. If I say it's objective, it's objective. Let's just make it easy. If I say it's an objective fact, it's an objective fact. That doesn't sound right. If you have a fact that can be viewed from any place, from any place, you can see it from anywhere, then it's an objective fact. Or if the fact is in a place that uh, you can see, from any place. That's the same thing, isn't it? Uh -huh. I mean, I'm feeling a lot of pressure here, and uh, I don't like it. Look, just slop something together and move on. You know, no point in worrying about this. You gotta get this done, finished. This isn't even the important fact. This is just the fact that establishes that facts are important. So just move on. You're just wasting time with this. Uh, you know, sometimes making these videos, sometimes making this video, I am a kind of speak English. <laughs> well, it's not a good video because you really aren't doing enough work. I mean, you know, some of this does require that you actually do some production, you know, that you actually, you know, write up some notes, get things prepared, create some slides, you know, all this other crap, you know, even maybe have some text that moves and do some stuff. And you're just not doing that. And so, you know, unless you organize your content, yeah, it's going to be unorganized, you idiot. Uh, you know, an objective truth can exist because it's basically a statement of words invented to basically describe the very thing being described. So, you know, there certainly are absolute truths. Water is wet, you know, liquid water. Can't be denied because the word wet was invented to describe water. You know, there's, I've used this example before, but yeah, okay, liquid water is wet. Can't, can't be denied. Um, you know, because the word wet was invented to describe what liquid water is. Now, if I said water is wet, you couldn't argue with it because wet was invented to describe liquid water. But basically words are um, 
uh, symbols of descriptive phrases. The word is its definition. And if we keep those definitions consistent from person to person, there should be truths that can be defined that are absolutely true. I'm sorry, uh, what, what was the subject again? Objective. I mean, it should be unobjective. I mean, it should be like, you know, a fact that you doesn't have an object point of view, that it has no point of view. You know, there is, there is no place it exists. It exists any place and every place. Or, I mean, you know, it can be seen from any place. It's, it just shouldn't, this objective is just a bad word. But that's the key thing here, words. Okay, the cat's the key point. Words, it's all a word game. It really is too nice a day to be stuck making these stupid videos. Um, okay, objectivity. Um, objectivity. God, I really hate this subject. I mean, what do you do with it? How do you, how do you demonstrate? You know, it's a hard subject to prove. I mean, how do you prove that facts are facts? Um, uh, well, that supposed, supposed, supposed facts are facts. Such a tough um, subject because it's, you know, it's hard enough defending the truth themselves, but to have to defend the idea of truth makes it even more uh, almost paradoxical. Pretty sure I can explain this part better than you. Um, you know, the words like, okay, let's say I said there's no God. Now, the word no and God is the key part of this word definition, of the phrase, what the phrase is saying. And uh, the word no really only gives you two choices, you know, yes or no. It either is or it is not. It's not a maybe statement, it's not a possibility statement, it's not anything else, it's just a simple yes or no. And uh, it only has the two answers. And so, you know, there aren't multiple truths there. I mean, either yes or the no is correct, and that's the end of that. Um, so there's not really any, you know, there's no opportunity for, you know, parallel truths or... You know, we're not going anywhere if we, if we can't, you know, walk on some kind of solid ground, there has to be. There just has to be some kind of truths that we all invest in. And if we don't invest those truths, we're just, we're just done. We're finished. There's nowhere to go. Um, uh, I mean, as, as I see it, anyway, that's almost my absolute truth, is that, yeah, there's just no future for humanity if we can't uh, establish some basic truth. It's like we really do need to go through this one fact at a time and establish something that we can all agree on. And once we agree to that, then we can get it somewhere. But, you know, until then, yeah, we're going to have all this conflict and all this, this shit, um, you know, because some people are living in worlds where frogs fly. Words define words. Words are um, made up of words. And so this whole argument that there's no such thing as objective truth, that it, uh, you know, that nothing can be held to any kind of um, standard to be applied. Uh, if we're going to be honest with to the language, you know, that just can't be. There has to be an objective truth. So I think there are, there's room to be able to say there are objective truths and all that is necessary is that definitions be precise and that words be uh, commonly understood you know, the same common definition for a word and then phrases can be composed that are can be established or stated as absolute truths 